Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is officially March. I am so excited about that. I can't even tell you guys. I know I've been complaining a lot about the weather on my channel, but I'm really excited that spring is on the horizon where I live. Those of you that are still buried under snow and in the cold, I'm sending warm thoughts your way. But I know you guys didn't come here to talk about the weather. So let's jump into my February favorites. I have some things here that are favorites and some things that are strong likes. I'll explain what I'm talking about when we get into those products, but before we jump in, if you are new here, I want to say welcome. I hope that you will consider subscribing. Now let's go ahead and jump into what I've been loving throughout the month of February. So I don't have a ton of things to share with you guys this month, just a handful, especially of things that are truly favorites of mine, but I do have a couple of things that either I strongly liked or worked for me, despite my kind of hopes almost that they wouldn't work for me, which sounds ridiculous. Why don't we start with the one that it kind of explains what my thinking is behind that? And that's this thing right here. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. If you watch my other videos, you will probably have noticed that I'm not big into setting sprays. It's not necessarily that I don't think that they work or that I have strong feelings against them. I just don't use them very often. Most of the time I forget about them. I often am in a hurry and it's just one of those steps in the makeup process that I feel like I should be doing, but I don't always do. I did pick this up during December, however, from Urban Decay and a little set. This is just a travel size version, obviously, but there was a part of me that just wanted to see if this really did prolong the wear of my makeup. I kind of doubted that the hype behind this thing was real, but I've been trying this out over the last couple of months, actually, on and off, on days when I really want my makeup to last. So if I'm doing my makeup in the morning and I have something coming up that night that I want it to last for, I have been using this and I will say it actually does work. And I was kind of disappointed by that because this is kind of an expensive product for my lifestyle. It's not something I need very often, but it is something that is nice to have. And I reluctantly have to admit that this thing is a good product. Moving on to my next like is, and this one I thought about putting it in my favorites because I've been using it so much, but there's just something about this one. That it's just not quite favorites category yet. It's the Wet n Wild Bronzer. This is in the color Sunset Strip Tees. I recently did a video on some new products from the drugstore and I featured this item in that video. I really do like this bronzer. It's very beautiful. It's the perfect shade if you like a warmer bronze. It's not orange, but it's definitely a warmer bronze. It's a really nice formula. It's a very interesting formula. This feels like a velvet couch. I love Wet n Wild as a brand, but I have major problems with their packaging. I know they're affordable and that's why their packaging is poor so they can keep their price point low, but these lids always break off on me. I can already tell this lid is getting brittle and it's only two weeks old. I know this lid is not gonna last for me, which means I'm gonna have to tape it back together. And there's something about using a product that's taped together that takes just a tiny bit of the enjoyment out of using that product, but if you don't care about packaging at all and you're just looking for a nice warm drugstore bronzer, this is definitely a good one. Make sure you get the right shade. Again, this is the color Sunset Strip Tees. A lot of people have been talking about Ticket to Brazil and saying it's way too orange. I did see that one in my drugstore alongside this one. It did look significantly more orange than this one does. And this is a pretty warm bronzer, so I would stay far away from that one. But if you see this one, if you have $5 to spend and you're in need of a bronzer, this is a good bronzer. I gotta say though, guys, I still want that Milani bronzer bad. The next product is also from the drugstore. It was in that same video as that bronzer. This one, however, is a definite favorite. This is the Peach Primrose Blush from Flower Beauty. This is a beautiful blush. If you want a perfect spring blush, this is such a good springtime color. You could wear this color any time of the year, but especially for spring, this is such a pretty warm but very soft and feminine looking blush. It pairs perfectly with any bronzer. I've been using this over and over again even though I have my everyday bin sitting next to me that has a lot of other blushes that I really love. I can't stop reaching for this thing. It's really been the only one I've used over the last week and a half. Next I have an eyeliner. I feel a little guilty mentioning an eyeliner because you guys know I love my cheap wet and wild eyeliner pencil. I use it in so many of my videos. I've been using that pencil for like seven years. I don't think it's the best pencil out there, but I just am attached to it. But this one's better. This is the LA Girl Ultimate Eye Intense Stay Auto Liner. This is such a good eyeliner pencil. It's from the drugstore. It is affordable. This color, Lasting Brown, is the perfect brown. It's nice and rich. It's almost a black sort of brown, which is just what I like. Very good staying power. I would say much better staying power than the Wet n Wild one. You don't have to sharpen it. It's just a really good basic brown pencil. Now, I will always love and use my Wet n Wild brown pencil. 
but this one is just a little bit better. If you need a little bit more out of your eyeliner, then I definitely would recommend checking this one out. And it is still very affordable. I think these are about $4.99 on Ulta's website. Really, really good liner. Another thing that I really fell in love with this month that kind of surprised me is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This came in BoxyCharm in February. I don't know why I'd never really had an interest in trying out this mascara. Well, yes I do. I don't try out high-end mascaras very often. You guys know that I fell in love with my IT Cosmetics mascara, which also came in BoxyCharm. But for the most part, I have a lot of drugstore mascaras that I really love, so I don't really feel the need to invest my high-end budget into mascaras. But this is a really good one. I really have been enjoying this. It's definitely different than my IT Cosmetics, which I still love, but they just give a different look to the lashes. This is much more separating. It's much more defining. It's volumizing in a very different sort of way. This is a great mascara. Let me know. I know a lot of you guys do BoxyCharm as well. Did you guys get this in your BoxyCharm? What have you thought of this thing? Because I've been very, very impressed. Next up, I have two different highlighters, and the first one I also mentioned in that drugstore video. This one is from Wet n Wild. It is their loose highlighter in the color Written in the Stars. I love this thing. This is such a fun product to have in your makeup collection. It's very unique to any highlighter that I have. It's very sparkly, very glittery. I talked in detail in that video, which I will link right here for you guys if you're curious. This is just such a fun, pretty, subtly sparkly looking highlighter. That was a terrible description. You guys just have to take my word for it. Even if you just want something really beautiful and sparkly for your inner corner, that's a whole lot of product to use for an inner corner highlight, but there's just something special about this highlighter. I love layering this on top of other highlighters. So I will put a highlighter down and then I will just take the tiniest bit of this on my finger and kind of tap it just right on top of my cheekbone just to add a little bit of intensity and kind of that spotlighted area. This has been out for a while, but I have still seen it at my Walmart for for a while. It's been at my Walmart probably for about a year now. If you see it, if that sounds like something that you would enjoy, I definitely would recommend this thing. But next up I have a highlighter that I'm sure every single one of you have heard in at least 600 YouTube videos over the course of the last six years. And it is Becca's Opal. I have this mini one right here. I picked this up during the holiday sale and I had never tried a Becca highlighter prior to that. I've always kind of been interested in them. But again, highlighters are just one of those things that I don't love spending my high-end budget on because I have so many from the drugstore that I really, really love. But I've always wanted to try these, so I picked it up during the holiday sale just to kind of see what all the fuss was about. And this is beautiful. The more I use this, the more I kind of fell in love with it. I don't know what it is. I think it's something about both the formula of this and also the color that's very unique and special. This is a champagne that has just a very subtle gold undertone to it. So one of the things I think is so special about this highlighter, at least on my skin, is when it's not in the light, it's basically the exact color of my skin, but when you like turn it to the light, you just catch the reflect and it makes it look so much more natural. I know that people have been talking about this highlighter since the beginning of time, here on YouTube at least, and it definitely is a good one. So let me know what you guys think of this one. Next, I've got to mention this nail polish for you guys. First off, I am so sad to hear that Kale Polish is going out of business because I've been really enjoying her nail polish line over the course of the last, I think it's been about six or seven months since I first tried out her nail polishes. But the one I want to share with you guys, I'm wearing on my nails right now. This is from China Glaze. I picked this up at my Sally's Beauty Supply, I want to say last year or the year before, but it's the color Deviantly Daring. I feel like this should be called Mermaid Tells because that's exactly what this color reminds me of, a mermaid's tail. If you're looking for a great spring or summer color, I definitely would recommend this one. I think it's so fun, so pretty. If you don't like these flashy kind of colors on your fingernails, this is a great pedicure color. I love this on my toenails as well. So if you like mermaids, definitely check out this color from Sally's Beauty Supply. So I have three more favorites to share with you guys. These are not makeup favorites. One is a hair care product, two are body items. All three of these are upstairs in my bathroom. If I bring them down into the basement, they don't leave the basement. So I thought it was wiser for me to just leave them where they are, where I can continue using them and insert pictures. So hopefully you guys are okay with that. First off is the Redken no blow dry cream. I talked about this in my look what I found at Marshall's video. And in that video, I was kind of on the fence on my feelings about that product. It worked pretty well for me the day that I used it, but it takes me a while to fall in love with a hair product. So my hair can be a little bit high maintenance. If you have natural curl or texture in your hair, 
you will know what I'm talking about. It can be very difficult to work with, especially when it comes to frizz. But this cream is again, one of the products that I kind of reluctantly fell in love with. This works really well for my hair as a low maintenance hair product for me, which those don't usually exist. My hair, when I do it curly, I can't really explain other than just saying it, it's a process. I have to use certain products. I have to go through certain stages of drying that include air drying and a little bit of diffusing. It's kind of ridiculous actually. And even then I still battle frizz all the time. But here's what I've been loving about this snow blow dry cream. This is a product that I truly can get out of the shower, kind of towel dry my hair off. I'll usually put a little bit of oil in my hair because my hair is so incredibly dry, especially in the winter time. And then I will just take a nice healthy dollop of this, probably the size of like a quarter and work it through the nape and the ends of my hair. And then I just give it a little scrunch and I can completely leave my hair alone. Four or five hours later when my hair is perfectly dry, it looks really, really good considering I pretty much did nothing else to it. It gives my hair that kind of beachy sort of look. I actually am wearing it in my hair today. I probably should have left my hair down, but it just gives my curls just the right amount of hold. It keeps them somewhat separated, but they're still very, very soft. It controls my frizz pretty well. I mean, I still have frizz. If you guys look at my hair here, I always have frizz. And I'm just the type of person that I would rather have frizz in my hair and soft curls than have crunchy curls and no frizz. That's just my preference. I'm okay with a little bit of frizz. I have very thick hair. My hair is pretty long. So if I use this thing daily, I definitely will burn through it very, very quickly. And even at the $12.99 discount price that I got it at my Marshalls, that's still expensive. That's, that's an expensive hair care product for me, but I know a lot of people like to spend their money on higher end hair care products. So if you are looking for a product like that, something that will let you kind of just go with your natural texture, whether that's really loose waves, even looser than mine, or tighter curls, I would recommend trying this thing out because I was surprised at how well it has worked for me. So last thing I have for you guys are two bath and body care items that I absolutely love. I'm a huge fan of the Dr. Teal's line. My sister gifted me, I want to say like two years ago on Mother's Day, she gifted me some of their bath salts, one of their bubble baths, and I loved them. I think originally I had the eucalyptus scent, which is really, really nice. But recently I ran out of that one. So I picked up the coconut bubble bath and also the same coconut scented shower gel. This stuff is so fantastic. First off, the bubble bath. These bubbles stay bubbly in your bubble bath for longer than any bubble bath product I have ever tried. My daughter loves this bubble bath because they stay bubbly for that whole 30 minutes that she's in the bathtub because she loves her bath. But I also picked up the shower gel just to try it out and I love this stuff. What I love about both of these items the very most is the smell. They say they're coconut scented, but these have a very clean coconut smell, not a sweet coconut smell. I can't explain it. It's a really, really nice smell. I really have kind of fallen in love with it. The more I use them, the more I love them. This is definitely my favorite scent that I've tried so far. So if you, like me, love Dr. Till's products, I definitely recommend the coconut one because I have been really loving it this month. And that brings us to the end of my February favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. Let me know what you guys have been loving throughout the month of February. Have you guys discovered any great new products, maybe some old favorites in your collection? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you guys again for all of your support. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. It really means the world to me. Hope that you guys have a great day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. If you are new here, I hope that you will consider subscribing before you leave my channel forever. If you are new, you will... S hope that you will guys consider subscribing.